Wow. Uh, the Seattle Seahawks have cut Carlos Dunlap. I, I just I just got this to my phone. Like, I literally just got the report on my phone. This is absolutely wild. I mean, you kind of expect it to happen because he's a $14 million cap hit. I mean, here, here, I'll read it real quick. It says, Seattle Seahawks have released Carlos Dunlap. Seattle will reportedly part ways with defensive end Carlos Dunlap to save $14 million in cap space. That's a lot of money. <laughs> That's a lot of money. I mean, Carlos Dunlap, we brought him in, we traded for him, and he made such a big difference. He did really good, really, really good last year. Really helped us. But, uh, I mean, it's just real disappointing to see him go. I mean, he he was very talented. He really, I mean, our defense, as soon as we traded for him, just wildly enough, somehow our defense became one of the top in the league. I don't think that that was an accident. I, I feel like he made a big impact. But $14 million, no doubt, was a lot of money. It was kind of clear that he might have been a cap casualty. There were reports that had come in uh, a few days ago that apparently were false, that uh, they were that the Seahawks and Carlos Dunlap were working on an extension to make him paid a little bit less so he doesn't have much of a cap hit, but he's still on the team. There's also been reports that the Seahawks plan to cut and then re-sign him for a much cheaper deal. I mean, you can really have no guarantees if you cut somebody and then try to sign him to a cheaper deal because they can sign with anybody else who's going to offer them more money than you will. They don't have any, you know, set rule to stay with you if you've cut them and try to get them back to a better deal. I mean, really, no idea what's going to happen, but Carlos Dunlap is gone. That's $14 million, though. That's that's a top-tier offensive lineman in free agency. You know, there, there's some things that you can do with $14 million. You can spend that to get Shaquille Griffin back. You can spend that to get KJ back. You could get some really good offensive linemen to make Russell Wilson happy because that's the guy you got to make happy this offseason. But, man, $14 million... I mean, maybe the Seahawks are putting a lot of faith. Maybe they've seen something from uh, Darrell Taylor, and he'll be at the defensive end spot filling in for Carlos Dunlap if we don't end up bringing him back on a cheaper deal. But, I mean, this is just absolutely wild to me. This is a <laughs> crazy deal. I mean, a crazy thing that's happened. I mean, there were reports that came out that said uh, there'd be a quote-unquote massacre to veterans that are being paid a lot of money, and that's shown to be pretty true. I mean, Richie Incognito was cut from the, the, the Raiders. I mean, he's, he's a good offensive lineman, kind of old, kind of expensive. I mean, there's going to be a lot of players that are going to be cut. Didn't think the Seahawks would deal with much of that issue. Of course, Carlos Dunlap was a kind of a guy that you kind of knew he might be cut because $14 million. Oh, my God, that's a lot of money. I mean, maybe Jaron Reed's next. Maybe Jaron Reed's getting traded uh, or something. I mean, it's a lot of money, 14 mil, but there was also a lot of production from Carlos Dunlap. I mean, this is just... It's just wild. I really don't know what to think. I mean, I really hope that the Seahawks will use this money for good if they don't actually end up bringing Carlos Dunlap back and spending some of that money back to get him. But, I mean, cutting Carlos Dunlap, our defense definitely got a lot better with Carlos Dunlap. Our pass rush went from one of the worst to one of the best after getting him and uh, really sucks to see him go. I mean, Carlos Dunlap, he was great for the Seahawks for the, what, six, seven, eight games that he was there? Very good, all right? Carlos Dunlap... Really appreciate what he brought to the team if he doesn't end up coming back. I mean, he, he definitely proved enough as a Seattle Seahawk to definitely warrant a, a new deal from any team in the NFL because he kind of showed he can be brought into a horrible situation with the Seattle Seahawks, and then boom, they're one of the best in the league. So uh, I, I definitely think Carlos Dunlap is going to be signed to another team or signed back to the Seahawks. It's not like he's going to not get any offers and have to retire or something like that. He's going to get an offer. He's going to be signed to some team. But this is just crazy. Hopefully that 14 mil will go to uh, some offensive lineman for Russell Wilson. But we'll see what happens with that. This is just some crazy news. Honestly, did not expect to see this at, uh, what is it, 940 something in the morning. I mean, wacky. Wacky and wild. But uh, Carlos Dunlap is gone. Hopefully we can move on and still have a productive pass rush next season. Or we can get him back. But uh, yeah, let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. This is wild. Uh, just absolutely crazy to me. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, yeah, have a great day.